Hi, my golden friends. This is a game between Fabiano Corona and Sergei Karyokin that was played yesterday at Total Steel Tournament. And at this position, Fabiano had a chance to play f4 and win the game, but instead he retreated the knight. What was good about pushing f4? Let's see. Then let me tell you the general idea first. f4 and um, generally pushing pawns opens all lines for white to start to attack to the black king especially strong white uh, rooks can join the game and the problem for black is that his knight is in very bad position it uh, cannot go anywhere good uh, the knight on e8 i mean rooks are closed because of that knight so at after f4 what was going to happen first move we can may consider is that what if um, black just simply take the central e pawn and says that I'm very happy with this position. I'm not up a pawn, but uh, you have a very bad pawn structure. First, white captures, and uh, it's clear that white's pieces are attacking black's uh, king. Very, uh, there are three uh, strong pieces nearby black king. So bringing the queen around doesn't help because first we sack another piece to open all lines, and if uh, then attack the black's knight. If black tries to save this knight, we no use our open files that we discussed earlier. And you can see how bad was that knight in the back uh, seat sitting at e8. No, if the rook tries to help to defend the knight, doesn't help. We just open other lines and keep attacking. If black tries to get rid of this dangerous knight, it doesn't help still because we uh, can win the queen soon so what if what if um, at this position instead of defending the knight black says that okay i i give up the knight because i already won a knight i just uh go for a piece i go behind with the king and save my game first we take back our last piece and if black tries to um, uh, coordinate pieces it doesn't help it's too late because we can start to exchange everything and eventually win all the pawns of black because the pawns of black are really horrible at the moment even though white is already two pawns up but white will be even more up so this also doesn't work so taking e pawn doesn't work for black at all but if as engine suggests we take just simply f4 pawn first get rid of the attack of the knight and don't hurry and when black goes backward if black wasn't going back we just uh, were going to capture the knight right now use the open files here instead of open c f c file we have open f file if tries to defend the backward uh, f7 uh, rank we try to open further lines with cost of losing a piece and open center open everywhere at this position if black tries to capture this pawn then we win the other pawn we check and win the knight back and very strong attack is running if no black uh, doesn't capture that pawn instead uh, captures with the pawn still we uh, win the knight if uh, black says that okay okay i don't i understand how dangerous is that and so i kept uh, i captured this pawn again we win the uh, e pawn and win the knight and all of them are very bad for black because still our attack is running and we don't we are not down a piece so let's say black says that okay i retreat the knight and you have nothing right but uh, the king is boxed in the corner and if tries to keep the material for itself and play greedy then we just uh, use all open files to bring the rook and queen to the attack and usually rook and queen if there is no defender against them can make the king very easily like in this case and there is no uh, survive uh, line for, surviving line for black yes this is the story that black couldn't survive after f4 but fabiano missed the game and i hope you enjoyed this analysis